Today we're going to cover uh, putting and how I practice my putting. Uh, I created this uh, bar, which I call the putting plane, probably 25, 30 years ago. And what I do with it is I allow the shaft of my putter to ride on this pipe. It's made with PVC pipe. The first thing I do is I pop a line on the ground. You can see the line I have. Years ago, I struggled with this. When I was probably 20, I don't know, I was trying to get on tour or playing in big tournaments, whatever. And I'm practicing in this. A friend of mine named uh, Nancy West said, can I watch you practice your putting? I said, sure. So she watches me putt about four or five balls. And I, I don't know if I made them or not. I think I was making them. They weren't very long putts. And she says, do you always aim like that? And I said, what do you mean? She said, well, you're aiming way left. And I said, no, I didn't know that. And at the time, I was a streaky putter. And after that, I learned to use the line to train myself to be uh, aiming where I think I'm aiming, for one. And ever since then, it has made me a better putter. So I have Nancy West to thank for that. I use a, uh, just a chalk line. I try to find the straightest putt I can. And most of my practice is going to be inside of 10 feet. Um, I'm going to have my putter, I would like my putter to be sitting flat to where the line is laying on the line that I have on the, uh, drawn on the green. And when I lean this putter on this uh, pipe, it's going to sit fairly flat. So what I can do then is I'm going to take my golf ball and I'm going to make the line on my golf ball match the line on the ground. So ideally, I'm going to go into my setup here and I want to have my arms nice and relaxed, putters uh, gripping it very, uh, fairly light, and I'm going to stroke this putt, letting this shaft ride back and through on this pipe. So what I'm doing here is I want to try to get the, the putting plane pipe parallel to the uh, line that's on the ground. Arms are hanging, nice and relaxed. There we go. As long as I make this stroke where the shaft rides on this pipe, the putter is going to go, it's going to work up and to the inside and it's actually going to open or it's going to come back down and it's going to be square as it goes through it's going to go up and to the inside and it's going to close so here we go This is all the practice that I do on putting, is making sure that I'm square and my putter rides on that shaft or on that, on that pipe. One thing that I'd like to do is I want to go back and through as far as distance control. If I went back to here, I would like to match that on the forward stroke. So we want to have uh, same back, same through. That's going to give me the most consistent way to have uh, good speed. That one just dropped in there. And the sound of that ball going in really builds confidence. You want to be able to hear that going in. If you build one of these and you go out and pop a line on the practice green, wear tennis shoes because if you wear golf shoes, you're going to literally wear a hole in the ground and we don't want to do that. So you may need to move around a little bit uh, to keep from wearing that out. Putter set up, my arms are very relaxed and hanging. Balanced again, same deal, back, through. T 
Tempo is everything in good putting. No matter how a person puts, uh, they could set it up for themselves. I'm not very tall, I cut my putters off and I bend them flat. So my pipe might be a little farther away. And everybody needs to set theirs up for the putter they use, the angle of it, uh, the lie. And uh, just get it parallel to the line on the ground. So if you're one of the people that struggles with taking it back uh, too short and then accelerates too much, or you take it back too far and then you decel, this is something you can do. You can set you up, uh, maybe a T there, and move one back about the same amount there. We would like to have the same distance or thereabouts back and through. If we do that, we're gonna have very good speed control. Ah, lagged that one. No, nah, it still went in. It's easy to control that speed. If it's the same back, same through every time. It's, it's uh, like I say, it's simple. I designed it many, many years ago and I've been using it for a long time and it's helped me to stay consistent and be uh, a consistent putter which is imperative to being a, a good player and, and shooting your best scores. So uh, I'll put it in the description, or, or I may just put a, a picture showing uh, this with the measurements, and so you can go build your own. If this is too much trouble for you to build your own, just send me an email at apsimplegolf at gmail.com and for around $40 I can build one for you. I hope this gets you, uh, helps you to become a better putter. A lot of people struggle with this and you know, you, you've got to train uh, about break and, but if you can get this, you're halfway there. Cause one, you know that your putter's square to the line on the ground. Two, if your shaft is riding on this pipe, then you know that your stroke is matching the path it needs to be going on. And, and if you can get those two things together, you're way ahead of the ball game as far as making a lot of putts. Sometimes you can hit great putts all day long and they still won't go in. I hope you enjoyed this video and if, uh, if you want to be uh, notified, you can hit the bell thing and it'll, it'll send you a notice when I put out a new video. Putting one out every Thursday. Uh, this will be maybe number 10 or so, maybe 11. I'm not sure where it'll fall, but uh, I hope this helps you with your game. And again, thanks for watching.